Hi folks, and welcome back to Karen Traveler and to this week's adventure. A uh, hiker couldn't join me this week, but I'm here at one of my absolute favorite places in the world, Bandelier National Monument, for a uh, hiking day trip. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the description below for some details, links to the blog post and links to some of the gear discussed in the video. And don't forget to find your adventure this week. Alright, so it's Tuesday morning, uh, 13th, well, something like that. Uh, I am here at uh, Bandelier uh, National Monument right outside uh, Santa Fe. I'm in Santa Fe for the day to pick up uh, the new road bike from REI after the old one was stolen in uh, uh, Apache Junction. So yeah, thought I'd uh, dual purpose this trip and pop over to Bandelier for a quick hike, maybe do about 10 miles or so and then jump over to REI. So uh, probably not gonna be a super long uh, vlog today. Um, I am still uh, sifting through the footage from vlog 29 and 30 for the Phoenix trip and the uh, trip to Telluride. So a lot of footage there, it's taken me a little bit to get all that editing done. So this is probably gonna be short, but uh, enough to recap the week. So see you on the trail. Beautiful outlook here. You can see the road in right there. Visitor center right down there. Some of the uh, cape dwellings are coming up, or cliff dwellings. You can see the old village in Kiva here. And then uh, see the switchbacks up on that other trail, which was the one I did last time I was here. And it would take you out to that outlook point over there which is a look down on the on the village. Pretty cool. Beautiful view. It's kind of smoky out today. There's fires, uh, uh, at least in Colorado. I don't know about where else, but uh, it's been pretty hazy both in Gallup and here. So uh, unfortunately the skies are not as wide open as they usually are. But still a nice day for hiking. Got a beautiful view of Burnt Mesa. Over there in the trail leading up to it. There's a there's an ant hill right there. You can tell how they clear the stuff away from their little mounds. This is probably the greenest I've ever seen this area. I don't know if they've had recent rain or just uh, you know fully summer and everything's really leafed out, but it is super green. Really pretty. Got a uh, beautiful view of some of the mountains on the Valles Caldera rim here. Uh, Cerro Grande, that I've climbed a couple times, is uh, somewhere out here, I think. I'll see if we can get a view of that here shortly. There's all kinds of cactus out here, and a lot of them are in bloom, which is super. There. 
So I was gonna do upper crossing. Uh, we're about a mile and a half in, and it's another 5.6, so it'd be uh, like 12 total. But um, about a mile back, I saw a, a trail off for the lower Alamo Canyon and the Rio Grande. So I've done this before. Um, so I think I'll go do uh, the lower one. So backtrack a little bit and then uh, head down. I think I saw the Rio Grande once when I did the Falls Trail and I uh, was able to look out on it. So hopefully you can get all the way down. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. So we're gonna see how that is. Wow, that's pretty. We're on the trail headed to uh, the lower Alamo Canyon and uh, the Rio Grande. It's not really descending much. Um, maybe a mile, mile and a half into five and a half miles is what the sign said. So uh, yeah, making progress. Beautiful day out. Uh, there's a nice breeze up and I'd say it's uh, it's about 10.30 and maybe 80 out here. Like it's really not bad at all. Usually in Gallup it's as hot as it's going to be by 11. Uh, yeah, see how it goes. Alright, I think we're seeing our first little glimpse of the Rio Grande. Way out there. A little bit of water. Keep going this way. It looks like we are coming up on a canyon. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good view. All right, guys, this looks like it. Coming up to an overlook. I'm still not really sure if this trail will actually take us down to the river. It may just be an overlook. Wow. That's pretty spectacular. See the river not over here. Maybe. Wow, look at that. So uh feel this canyon is up this way <clears throat> with bandolier. So it looks like we're finally uh, headed down here. And then, uh, I guess over the edge, I don't know. Don't know if there'll be switchbacks down or what. We'll find out. All right, here it is. The Rio Grande. Wow. That's wild. It's pretty low. It's like almost kind of marshy areas over here. Wow. It's quite the cliff up here. Trail keeps going this way. I think we've got about a mile and a half left. It's more kind of cliffs over there. Let's see where this ends up. Pretty. That is the wow factor right there. It's like every corner you round, there's a another great view. Crazy. Now we're really going down some switchbacks. I don't know if that over there is the trail or another trail or what the deal is. Still stu <laughs> stu stupid pretty views. All right. Looks like we're coming up to a bit of a overlook here. Yeah. Wow. Head down that way. Gonna be a little bit of a beast going back up, but we'll see when we get back. Wow, that's a view.
So I'm still following the trail over here and we've got a little bit of a dry creek bed. Must be another branch. Comes down this other canyon. And uh, Rio Grande should be that way. All right, coming around another bend in the trail here. Oh, in other news, I'm up to 200 push-ups on the way. My goal is to get 200 more on the way back for a total of 400. So, I can't imagine we're actually headed out that way. Maybe it just goes down to this dry creek bed. And we'll see. All right, this looks like the end. This uh, dry creek bed. So there was a sign here at one point. Got some cairns it's in here. Let's see what those little holes are. My guess is you could keep following this down and get to the Rio Grande. I may um, walk down there a little ways, but it's gonna be a ways back, so I don't wanna take too long. But yeah, I think the uh, uphill on these switchbacks is gonna be worse than the one coming out of Freeway Canyon. Uh, dropped quite a bit more. All right, gonna investigate, bring you back. Weird little holes down here. Huh. It's really odd. I wonder if it was rocks that kind of fell out of this other stuff. I don't know what kind of water pattern would make a pattern like that in the side of a rock. All right, so found another cairn here, toppled over. And looks like the trail does continue. So I'm guessing we are going all the way out to the river. I don't know how far that would be, but uh, find out. So I'm still just hiking along in this uh, creek bed. Let's see another cairn out there. So this is a trail, yeah. All right, looks like we're getting close. Almost there. All right, I'm at about nine mi miles total. And uh, I would think this is probably it being as green as it is. I don't know if there's a trail through all that. We'll find out. It smells amazing down here. I believe all this is sage. It's just warm. I'm blowing through here. There may actually be cliff dwellings up there, I don't know. Can't really make it out. Wish I had binoculars. So it looks like a grapevine blowing through here. Pretty green. All right, looks like a dead end. As far as it goes, I'm not gonna weed through all that. Um, my, my guess is it gets, you know, progressively thicker and then maybe swampier as it gets to the river. Good walk. Gonna head back. So I found another trail kind of up on the bank uh, of that dry creek bed. It's a little better marked and it looks like an actual trail. So I'm gonna see where it goes a little bit longer. This looks like it may be the ruins of something. We've got more over here. Watch your feet for cactus out here. Oh, it is. How oh, cool. Yeah. For sure. There's a room right here. Oh, that's super cool. Wow. 
hill here. I don't see any water down there. I think this will just lead you down to uh, lead you down to another dry creek down here. So you can kind of see the river way out there. Yeah, pretty cool. Sure enough, there's a shard of pottery over here. So the clouds rolled in, it's a little bit cooler and a little break from the sun. It's about 2 p.m. Back at the uh, trailhead to go back up. Got a ton of sand in my shoes. Gotta empty that out. <clears throat> Have a little water and start on out of here. Been a good hike. Check it out, it's all frosted. I think I lose so much salt. When I Taking the heat in my pants. It's not dust. It's salt. Okay. So we're back at the turnoff for the visitor center. I just took the last swallow of water. Uh, I think there's a water station down there, but even if there's not, it's a mile down and then the car's right there, so it'll be fine. But uh, yeah. Salt and sweat kicked all over me. <coughs> but anyway. I'm uh, gonna head down and get something to drink. See you down there. All right, picking up the new bike here at REI. Got back safely from the trail. I uh, forgot the forgot the key to the hitch. So while I have the uh... sorry, the video cut out here. But anyway. While I brought the bike rack, I forgot to bring the keys to the trailer hitch pin, so I couldn't take the tow hitch off. So I ended up throwing the bike in the back instead of like actually putting on the bike rack. Uh, this is a time-lapse video of finally setting up the bike rack on the Airstream with a new bike set up when my bikes were stolen in Phoenix. I'll link that video here. Uh, so is most, if not all, of my bike gear. So the lights, the locks, uh, water bottle cage, and the underseat bag with all the tools and the tube changing kit, all of that. So I had ordered everything ahead of time from Amazon and ready to install once I got this bike. I'll list all that equipment down below if you're interested. That'll, the links will be down there. I am an Amazon affiliate, so uh, it would definitely help support this channel. If uh, you would use those links, that would be cool. If not, uh, check it out as you're interested. But, uh, yeah. So this is just me installing some of the bike equipment I had gotten ahead of time. You can see the uh, bike bag there with the tools in it. Also, we're, while we're talking about the description, I try to include a lot of useful info, info down there, so please check that out. There's links to gear discussed in this video, links to related videos, uh, links to some of my videography setup if you're interested. I also include, include a link to the full blog setup where there's usually a longer adventure right up and also where I post some photography so definitely check that out. So finally after going to Phoenix to get a hitch installed for a bike rack I can finally mount the bike rack and put some actual bikes on it. It actually works pretty well. I am looking at a few different uh, bike lock situations um, for the previous video. Uh, you can check back that, to that link that uh, I got some of the Apple AirTags which are now installed on the bike so hopefully if they're stolen in the future I can kind of kind of track them down don't know what I'll do when I track them down but uh, at least I can find them I wish there was a bike lock that would have like an alarm associated with it like if you cut cut the circuit by cutting the lock some sort of alarm would go off I haven't found anything like that yet but it would be cool if that existed Pretty happy with this final setup. Um, I do have the mountain bike reordered. Uh, I had to find a different vendor this time. The last one was backcountry, and I think I found um, uh, it was a bike shop out of out of California. But they they had the bike I wanted. It actually has the color I wanted for the Santa Fe, uh, or sorry, Santa Cruz high tower. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
But that's going to close us out for this week, so hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of more content coming soon. Uh, next week, week's video is going to be short as I work to catch up on video content, but it's a review of the awesome shoes I've been using for the last three and a half years. And uh, with that, I'll leave you with the rest of this time lapse. Don't forget to find time for your own adventure this week. We'll see you the next time.